Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Red Car Race Course here on Monday. It is April the 8th, 2019. I'm going to look at the fifth race, 4 o'clock from Red Car, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Also, uh, join me this week here on YouTube on a Saturday for the um, from Oakland, the Arkansas Derby. That's one of the, ma the final major prep races for the uh, Kentucky Derby. Derby, and that looks like it's going to be a great race, both the Arkansas Derby and the Kentucky Derby, which uh, it wouldn't surprise me if you see randomness in uh, the uh, Kentucky Derby, but um, that's still a month away, but uh, like I said, join me on Saturday for the Arkansas Derby preview video here on YouTube, but let's get to this fifth race from Red Car, the 4 o'clock, which is a great race, it's the Racing TV Straight Mile Handicap, actually it's not really a mile, um, but we'll get to that in a second, it's a Class 4 Handicap, going for a purse of $12,500, race for 3 year olds only. Only. We have a field of eight horses um, going 1,600 meters about, or the distance of ground of about a mile. The true distance is seven furlongs and 219 yards, which is one yard less than a mile. So now you know. So it's about a mile. But uh, my top selection here, I'm going to take my shot with the four horse white coat. I'm going to go 4 3 2 in the tri cast trifecta. 432 Tri Cash Trifecta Top Selection Four Horse White Coat This three old cult by Dancel. Kieran O'Neill gets laid up for John Gosden. The horse's most recent outing came the twenty eighth of March at Chelmsford. Seven for in a class four main race. And this horse ran massive from his post right. He, he broke from barrier number twelve. He finished second by three and a half lengths. He had a good weight. If he saved some more ground he could have won, but he was just wide throughout and just didn't do well for his cause. Before that, the 2nd of March at Chelmsford, the one mile class for novice, he finished second by a nose, and again, a 36 cents a dollar, a little bit too wide, but he was closing up well there. And then before that, Chelmsford, one mile class for novice, he finished second by two and three quarter lengths, very wide, but he did get around the race course well. And then a race on the 9th of January, Kempton, one mile class five novice, finished third by head. He just kind of weakened out of a few strides before home, but it was just, you know, a, a very quick turnaround from him. He ran a few weeks earlier, uh, about a week and a half earlier at Wolverhampton, a mile and eighth, 18 meters in class five novice, where he finished second by a nose. And again, he was closing up well that afternoon. Um, I like him coming to turf today for the first time. Yeah, the, the ground's very dry up in New Yorkshire, so you're going to see uh, almost firm ground, which suit him a lot. Um, and uh, I think uh, with that ground, Good posture, good win. I think he get a piece of it, so at six to one, I'll take him. Um, just looking over his odds in the uh, UK market right now, um, he's trading just around six to one. So we're getting the um, the same odds across the pond here in New York. So. Uh, Good luck with that. But to recap my selection for the fifth, the four o'clock from Red Car, gonna go with the four horse white coat. I'm gonna go four three two in the tri cash trifecta. So good luck to one. Please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kit five.